They say this jet isn't designed to kill ground targets. They say it's weak in PvP or ground attack. They say this jet isn't some PvP abusing OP piece of, you know. They say no more jet griffin. Alright guys, alright. <laughs> I saw your comments and actually right now I'm gonna change your opinion about this jet. And I'm gonna prove you that this aircraft is actually so strong at killing ground targets. As you saw in one of my previous videos, like in particular in the first video, I said that this jet doesn't work its money and actually I was completely wrong about it. And basically this video is a guide of uh, how you have to use this aircraft. Okay, so let's start. So when you take this plane, everything starts with a takeoff. So to quickly take off, you basically have to go up a little bit with a VTOL mode and then instantly toggle to the normal flight mode. This is how you can quickly take off with this F-160 aircraft. There is another way to take off, is basically backwards VTOL takeoff. You can see how it looks like. I wouldn't say that it's useful, but you can just use it for fun. Also, there is one more way to take off with this aircraft. I call it the backflip takeoff. It looks like this. It's not useful, but you can just impress your friends with it. There are actually a lot of ways to take off with this aircraft and this is one of them, basically some freestyle stuff. So you can discover a lot of ways how you can do it with this aircraft. And guys, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I really wish I could get 400k subs till the end of this year. It would be actually great, so maybe you could help me with it. Thank you. Okay, let's go. In my previous video, I already showed you how you can uh, kill ground targets with uh, with the missiles. Uh, this way is actually a very hard way to kill ground targets because it requires a lot of skill and a lot of luck, not gonna lie. As you can see, it actually looks very cool, but most of the time it's all about luck. Like uh, in particular, how in this clip. You can see I couldn't even see the guy, so I just randomly shoot at the ground and I killed him. So right now I'm gonna show you how you have to kill tryhards or griefers or like any other enemy with this jet. Uh, use a stealth mod to approach your enemy and then toggle the VTOL mod and you have to come to your enemy at a very good angle and shoot him with a cannon. So what's gonna happen is you just shoot the guy and he doesn't even have a chance to shoot you back because you're gonna destroy him with a cannon. And basically it's pretty much the same thing as uh, on the old Hydra. Just use a VTOL mod to kill your enemies. It's very, very strong. But this tactic's only useful when there are buildings around you. So you can use it as a cover, quickly pick your enemy and boom, he actually can't do anything against you. And there is one tip I can give to you. Make sure to pre-fire when you're picking your opponent, so he will not able to snipe you from the jet. Like here, look. You have to know for sure where your enemy stands. So you pick him with a pre-fire and he's already in the sky. Look, one more clip of how you have to use it. Boom, pre-fire, he's dead. He actually doesn't have a single chance to kill me back. Okay, and right now I'm gonna show you a few mistakes you should to avoid while using these tactics. And one of them is when you're trying to kill your opponent without using any cover, like in this clip. You're a very, very easy target. Like, look. Boom, the guy is sniped. It's because he didn't use pre-fire and he didn't use uh, any building as a cover. Here again. The guy is going to the VTOL mode to kill me. He's gonna pick me from the left to kill me. But he was on a very high attitude, as you can see. And basically he couldn't properly aim at me. And this is a big mistake. So here, in this situation, how would I do? Uh, always be on a very low attitude. And, and again, just pre-fire. It's so simple. And after you kill someone, make sure to go to the stealth mode, so your opponent will be confused. Here again, make sure to pick very quick and pre-fire. And always make sure to be on a low attitude to have a perfect angle on your enemy. 
here I'm gonna show you what you have to do if you didn't instantly kill your opponent and you don't have an angle on him. Like you see, I tried to finish the guy with the rocket, I missed, and what? I have a bad angle on this guy. Just go forward, make another circle and try it again. Don't try to finish your opponent if you didn't kill him instantly. Uh, sometimes tryhards uh, use BST, and here is when the things getting more complicated. As you can see, the guy actually not dying because he's using BST. It's actually getting very, very hard to kill a ground target. So what you have to do is just hit your opponent with a cannon and then finish him with a rocket. Just look at this. So I hit him and then you finish the guy with a rocket. It's very simple. If the guy is using BST, this is the best way to kill him. And remember, always fly on a low altitude when you try to kill your enemy. And make sure to pre-fire to avoid getting dead sniped from your jet. Okay, so I showed you how to kill uh, targets when you're in the city or in some area with, uh, where you can hide behind something. Uh, right now I'm gonna show you what you have to do when, uh, when you're killing someone on an open area. Basically, it's the same as a scrum jet. You just go up, you go to the VTOL mode, you turn, you look down and you shoot your opponent with a rocket. This actually takes some practice because I wouldn't say that it's so easy. But what's good about these tactics is that you're absolutely like not touchable. They can't snipe you because you're always above them. So you have a very, very good advantage. Okay, let's have a look at this again. I tried to kill a guy with a missile. I missed. And then I'm doing these scrum jet tactics. And he can't even snipe me from this angle. You just have to spend one day to train this, and you will be so good at this, trust me. And one more clip with this kind of kill. Okay, let's move forward. So, I think you won't be the only one person in the lobby to fly this F-160 aircraft in a stealth mode. So, here is a tip how you can find your enemy when uh, you're both using F-160. And it's a very, very simple tactic. I used to use it with a laser, with a hydra, with everything, and it always works. So basically what you have to do is just turn off your engine and just listen at what side your opponent is. Just listen to it. You can clearly hear that he's somewhere on the right, because the engine of this jet making a lot of noise. You can actually hear your opponent from like five miles away. Just listen to it. I can clearly hear that he's on the right somewhere. And I'm going to that direction. And boom, I found him. That's so easy. Just use this and you'll be like the best pilot in your lobby. Okay, and there is one more tip. Uh, I just found the glitch uh, that you can do with this chat. Just look at this. Turn off your engine, go to the VTOL mode, and boom, you're stuck in the clouds. You're basically not moving. You're slowly falling down, but it's very, very slow, as you can see. You're actually almost not falling when you're doing this. And uh, how you can use it is basically just to listen where your opponent at. Just turn off your engine in this, uh, with this glitch and just stay like this. And you can hear where is your opponent at. Just listen to it. But uh, I would say it requires good headphones. Only with the good headphones you'll be able to hear where is your opponent. It's actually a very, very funny glitch. I don't know how did I randomly discover it, but I think it will be very, very useful in, uh, in a free mode wars. Like, listen. I easily can hear that the guy is on the left. Just keep using these tactics until you find your enemy and then go after him. Yeah, I could hear that he's definitely on the left somewhere. And again.
It's so simple. It, it actually doesn't require any skill to do it. And what's good about it is that you can stay in the sky for so long without making any sound. Okay, talking about the rockets. The rockets can't catch this new jet if you're on a high attitude. So you just can go circles and the enemy who's behind you will not be able to kill you because he can't catch you. So he can't kill you with the uh, cannons and the uh, homing missiles can catch you too. But if you're shooting someone with it, with the missiles, you just have to know that this jet, since it's actually faster than the rockets, you can actually kill yourself with it. So be careful, actually be careful. Also, as I showed you in uh, my previous video, uh, you can use this jet for kamikaze kills in stealth mode. It's pretty useful if you want to get one kill on someone. Also, if someone is staying on the maze bank, he's an easy target for you. You can actually kill a guy like this. In particular, if he doesn't have a parachute, he's definitely dead. Okay, I think this is it. And I think after watching this video and trying all these tactics, you'll become an actual maverick in your lobby. Goodbye, guys, and have a good day.